It's not a bad dog. It's just, you know, as far as keeping yourself safe, you would want him to calm down before you took him out of the cage. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Oh, everybody's nodding yes. Okay. What, what tells you yes that he's safe to, to approach? Sorry? Oh, the tail. The tail. Yeah, nice. The, it was a, a little bit of whirly bird, nice broad sweeping wag straight out behind him for the rest of the time. What else? The way he was standing. The way he was standing, he looks head, comfortable. Head, 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 head up. Mm -hmm. He's very relaxed. He looks relaxed, right? He, just, he looks like, again, a dog who's relaxed, just looks relaxed. You just kind of feel it about him. Okay. Um, yeah, he wasn't hyper panting, his mouth wasn't clenched, everything looked normal. Um, he did a little bit of a tongue flick and then he sat and sniffed himself. Um, so I think more than anything, just because I was standing there staring at him and not doing anything, he's like, okay, well, what is this woman doing after a while? <laughs> so I think I made him a little bit nervous about what was happening. Um, so that's an appropriate response for someone to just stand there and stare at you and not do anything. Dogs are like, okay, people usually start talking to me by now. So that was like a completely, that was fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is, this is what you want to see from the dogs that you approach. Okay. This is, he was a little choppy in the beginning. I don't know what happened. I Everybody say no. Yay! <laughs> well, the second orientation I've done where everybody's like, uh-uh, no. <laughs> um, what about the body's telling you no? Why are you saying no? He looks defensive. His back legs are spread a bit to give him a little bit firmer stance. Yeah. Well, his front legs are not, which I think is interesting, which also tells me that he's not confident. He's, he's yeah, defensive, definitely. And, but he's not sure about being aggressive. He, he doesn't want to really have to do it, which again, most dogs don't. But confident dogs are like, I know what I have to do to get them to back off. This guy's like, oh my gosh, this whole thing is scaring me. Okay. What else? So two things. One thing is that his tail was kind of erratic. It went slow, then it went quick, and then it went slow. Yeah. And then he went to go bite the, as he was barking, he stopped and to go bite the toy. Mm -hmm. Which is mm -hmm. kind of strange. It is, yeah, and I uh, guess, you know, dogs are always fascinating me. I never would have expected him to pick up that toy. But again, I think, yeah, like I was saying, dogs use their mouths to take out their, their stress, and so I think that's what he was doing. I do not think it was an offer to play with me, okay, because it was very quickly was picked up and tossed aside. Um, yeah, that tail was, when he wasn't barking, if you just looked at the tail, you would probably think he was okay, because it was a fairly neutral position and not too quick of a wag, or it was a bit stiff, but not fast. But when he barked, it got faster. Um, his ears were back. His pupils are dilated. He's growling. He's barking. Um, he never approaches. He's pulled back, if anything. He's backed away. So as we said, that's the first thing you want to look for. Um, he just kind of has that worried look. He's got those wrinkles coming up over his eyes and everything. He's got that, so there's tension up there. Um, I know we didn't talk about it before, but something else that he does it, that just something you can watch for a couple times, he kind of poofs his cheeks a little bit, and that's frustration. Okay, just blowing out some kind of stress that way. Right? Um, yeah, I, again, this was a dog I was not intending to tape. I was going to the shelter from my office, which is back here, so I had to go down this hall and around and through this other area um, to go see the cats when I saw him tied out. So I ran back here to get the camera and videotape this. Um, and then when I was done, I put the camera back and I went the long way around. 
I would not go to pass this dog. You could not pay me to walk past this dog. I, I went out of my way and took an extra minute because I did not trust him. And everything about him said, please don't come near me. So I, again, I respect that. Okay, just a couple more. You're doing great. Yes or no? Yes. I would say mostly head nods. Why would you say no? Anybody? Who did you say no? You said the ears were going back. The ears are back. Okay. Okay. Everybody else who said yes, why do you say yes? Tail was pretty good. Mm-hmm. A, a pretty easy wide tail wag. She was approaching the cage. She was up in front of the cage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Please, I guess she just wasn't in that. Or arousal kind of state, just sat there. She looks pretty relaxed. And she sat down. And, and in control, exactly. I'd say the one time her tail wag started to get a little faster, she sat down. So she's kind of like, oh, gotta calm myself. That's the way I read it anyway. And she sat. Okay. So I think, yes, um, the ears back, I would say, are what we generally call appropriately submissive. So she's saying, I'm not a threat to you. So she's putting the ears back a little bit. Um, there was other barking and stuff going on. I know I didn't have the volume, so it's very possible that she had her ears back because of all the barking that was going on. She was listening to the other dogs around her. Okay, so I, I kind of put, took that out of that equation, which doesn't let you guys figure that in, so I apologize for that. I mean, um, ears back and head down, the threat were ears back and head up. Ears, ears, down, or ears back, head down, um, tail tucked is more likely to be fearful and defensive, yeah. 